So we got a lot of boxes here. I'm gonna do a little walkthrough for you guys so you guys can see the mess that is here. Uh, things are, I'll be honest, things are a little ridiculous around here. Um, I'm not even sure where to get started. That's, there is such a mess around here and so much stuff that I just don't even know where to turn or where to begin. <clears throat> Exactly sent this to me. I don't know who sent this to me, but this is not what I ordered. <laughs> it is some sort of handheld KTV neon light karaoke stick. And I definitely did not order this. They obviously sent me the wrong item. Uh, I'll have to look through the records and see exactly uh, <laughs> what they. Yeah. Okay. Let's just move. They put in a bunch of um, paper here. You know, this thing isn't even breakable, but they went ahead and covered it up. That tells you how good of a dude these people are. I've got to remember to remember that this minion thing that ha You know what's so funny is this is a min menu with a soap dispenser. And there's actually already. It's a cream peach. There's actually already stuff in here. I thought it was empty. But there's, it says here, it's limited edition shower cream peach scent. And you can feel it's heavy. Um, there's actually peach already in there. That's cool because normally, you know, when you get stuff like that, it usually comes out empty, right? <clears throat> Let's get this box done and out of the way here. my pillowcases I couldn't find a place that sell just pillowcases I had to keep on buying a set and I didn't need a set and so I went online here and ordered pillowcases and I did this yesterday can you believe that they got here today so here they are just this being Asia I'm Asian so I can say this this being Asia there's no way in heck I'm going to go ahead and put those on my pillow without washing this whole entire thing first. This, I'm not going to, well, let's open it up just to make sure that it's not some crap. But this is supposed to be cable wires. I'm thinking this is the HDMI 50 foot cord. But let's find out, make sure we got the right thing first before we dump it off on the side and find out they sent us the wrong thing. never as good when they wrap it like this because that tells you like this, sh this stuff may be crap. Okay. Uh, this is speaker wire. Now of course they didn't really label exactly which one is which one so. Okay. We'll figure it out. I got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm probably not going to open this, but this is basically a iPod, iPad, tall stand. Pretty heavy, actually. It's not made of a hunk of, hunk of plastic like the rest of that stuff up over there. So let's go ahead and we'll shove this over here, put it off on the side, and 
deal with that madness some other day. So my surround sound speakers, whole entertainment 5.2 systems arrived today. Also, I think five of my tables arrived today, so it's just completely chaotic around here. I mean, it was already beforehand. This is that cheap old, I don't know how, what happened, but I ordered this like four, three times, and it's a hunk of junk too. This is the microphone stand. It's a, um, you know, it's basically a uh, the stand I'm using right now for you guys. But this thing here is like the cheapest plastic on the face of the earth. I ordered this and I had no real use for it, but I just thought like, you know what, this is something that you would see at restaurants and I thought it would be perfect for me to, you know, do something with. I'll figure it out sometime and find a place to use for it. And it was super cheap. So I thought, you know what, let's get a couple and then make a decision on where I can use it for. I, basically in Thailand they do a lot of this wood stuff. This one here is not nearly as nice as this one. This one here is actually kind of glossy and has a ooh, nice finish. This is a real nice finish. And so you can put your ketchup bottles or cups or something here and they'll just be the holder. So you put that on the table and you got uh, your little display case type things here. So. Uh, Okay, this is, this is the old GameCube light up, lit up control. And um, I'm not gonna bother opening it up because it's nice and sealed right now. So I'll put this in a safe spot. I'll put it up here. And then eventually when I have a spot to hang it, uh, that it's not going to be breakable, then I'll go ahead and put it up somewhere else. Uh, my... Okay, I got a few more packages here. Man, I got to figure out how to clean up this area. This is, place is a disaster zone. Is exactly the way that other thing was packaged. I can't remember what it was that I opened that it packaged up this way, but I'm sure it's not the same item because it would have come at the same time. Okay, that's the clock I ordered, and they put two items in one packaging the whole makeshift thing. I bought this because it was super cheap and I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and buy this thing and hang it up somewhere. So that's good. That turned out all right. I mean, it took, you know, it looks pretty darn good. Now this clock here, I'm a little concerned because these numbers are pretty, um, when I set it down, it flickered a little bit like it was cheap. I mean, shoot, more than half of this stuff over here is cheap. This has got to be the lightest clock I've ever seen. So let's open this sucker up. This is kind of one of, yeah, I don't see how this is going to work. I'm gonna try to see if I can screw this on, but 
the these things don't actually move. This thing is barely hanging on. <laughs> okay. What time is it right now? It's like 558, 555. 558, something like that. Let's put a battery in here and see what the hell happens. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. You guys tell me if this thing uh, actually continues to work. Oh shit. I need a weight of some kind. This thing isn't heavy enough. Things all a hunk of junk. See these numbers all broken. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's open up some other stuff here. I got some random boxes around here. Actually, you know what? We should probably call it a day. I've got way too much cleanup to do. Whew. Where do I even get started? So this is hilarious. I ordered this Christmas tree back out in, I want to say I ordered this Christmas tree back in early November and it finally showed up today at this fake Christmas tree. So let me go ahead and show you the stuff that I had. So I needed some storage spaces for both electronics, cable, um, electronic wires, um, office supplies, and I thought, you know, these two little storage bins on wheels would be perfect. I bought a three, two drawer and a three drawer. Um, I can definitely throw them in the bathroom or use them as office things. I'll figure that out later. Uh, I ended up getting the Onkyo receiver along with some Polk speakers, powers. I got a little uh, adjustable uh, TV bed tray. Um, here are the rest of the Polk speakers. I got a 5.2 system set up, or will set up. Now here's this uh, LED lit Christmas tree. It was easier instead of putting my own lights around there and then plugging it in, just to buy a tree that already had the lights already on there. So that was why I did that. Now here are the speaker towers. These things are huge. Um, I'm gonna have to really be careful about how loud I turn this up because uh, I mean, I am in a condominium unit, and um, I got neighbors. I don't have neighbors necessarily. I mean, I don't have a neighbor to my left. I have a neighbor to my right who uh, I won't get into that whole situation, but um, I have no neighbors across the hallway, and I'm on a fire fire escape or fire stairwell. So uh, I only really, really, I guess I'm only really concerned about the person below me, above me, but of course you can hear it bet worse below you right so I got to worry a little bit about the person above me a little bit a lot about the person below me and uh, just being a nice guy I guess I could still worry about the guy to my right a little bit here's a little bar stool table that box is a piece of crap it came broken pretty much I'm gonna open that up tonight and put it together and just see exactly how it looks Did that clock change did that move let's go ahead and we'll come back I think the clock says it's like 5.50, right? Let's come back a little bit and find out exactly. Here's some more tables that I ordered. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to open them now and take care of it, or it's so dusty out there. Here is that little uh, Instagram sign that I need to get put together. 
I'm not sure exactly what the contractors did and the construction people t did today because I didn't see much of anything getting done. I mean, other than one do sliding door getting done, I didn't see much of anything getting done. Now, this is a little uh, wheel um, alcohol barrel display table thing. And I'm going to open it up and see if it turned out to be any good. See? See a little bit of a hook up there, but shoot, man. Not much has happened. Bought a Samsung QLED 85-inch uh, TV. 85-inch, 214 centimeters. So that's that. Take care of these cardboard boxes. Oh, I bought a... Um, well, here's that refrigerator I bought. Pretty darn good, actually. Bought an exercise bicycle. Haven't even got around to opening that box up. Finally got one of the um, dry erase boards done. This one's actually extra large or extra uh, long and on top of that it's super heavy. I got another one there as a backup. Uh, yeah, lots going on here. This is a mess around here. Look at all this crap. I, I told the contractor he's going to have to consolidate some of this stuff. This is just too much stuff all in one area. So, yeah, this is just, yeah, this is just too much stuff. No matter how you spin it around 360 degrees, look at all this crap this guy has, that his team has. I mean, it doesn't seem like we're moving very fast. And on top of that, I mean, not the me spinning around. I mean, these contractors, the second one around, go around, doesn't look like they're getting much done. And all they do is have all this crap scattered around here. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm gonna do some massive cleaning getting this place ship shape as much as I can. Um, even this place, look at this. <laughs> just total chaos, right? <laughs> and just FYI, these little shelves for clothes, <laughs> this is not the one I'm keeping. This is a temporary, they had a buy one, get one free, so I got the same identical one. They gave you the option of getting a second one different. But I'm not planning on keeping this. Eventually, I'm going to have custom-made cabinets put in. So for the time being, uh, that'll be just fine. And uh, God, look at this mess out here. But here's my speakers and stuff. Honestly, I'm probably not even going to put the touch the TV today. I think what I'll do is I'll wait until the contractors leave on Friday. That way, there won't be dust around on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Then I'll go ahead and unbox the TV. And um, I don't even know if that stand's gonna fit that 85 inch TV. I mean, that stand is not, it's not the biggest stand, right? I mean, God, I really should put my weight, I should probably stand on here and find out if it can even support my weight because if it can't support my weight, then it definitely can't support the TV, so. <laughs> oh man. This is just a crack up. Okay, I gotta get clean. I gotta get the cleanup started here. I mean, this place is just a wreck. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta do all this cleanup, so I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.